Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a video for you today in reference to fall, the fall of the year, which is approaching expediently. I hope you're ready. But before I get into that, I just want to tell you that I thank you new subscribers. But if you are familiar with who I am, I want to tell you I am Love of Fragrance. And on this channel, you're going to hear information revolving around fragrances, beautiful scents, candles, and sometimes even a little personal detail revolving around my life or something. And like I said, I'm Love of Fragrance and you always welcome to this channel. But today I have a video for you in reference to fall fragrances, my perception of fall fragrances. And a lot of individuals wonder, what in the world? happens to be a fall fragrance. I classify fragrances as being seasonal. Some of them are and some of them are not, but you know, when you find one that you want to fall into a certain category, you will know. And that's why I have seasonal fragrances because some of them are appropriate for certain seasons, not all seasons, because like summers, you know, they fall in a category. But the ones I'm going to discuss with you today are fall, and they fall in a category because you take into consideration that a fall fragrance would fall in a category of an old factory sweater, honey. It's something that wraps around you and keeps you very, very secure and very warm. In other words, a fall fragrance would fall into a category of some green notes, some woody notes, maybe even some floral notes, but predominantly heavy notes. There's no specific on the longevity of a fall fragrance it varies but it depends on your perception of what you consider to be fall but I just want you to know they all do fall upon a certain categories and I have several here for you today that I classify as my fall fragrances not I just went through my collection and I selected a few I categorize them as being appropriate for the fall and I think you're gonna agree with me and the first one I want to bring to you happens to be Jimmy Choo Illicit. Jimmy Choo Illicit, honey, this here fragrance right here, reason I say it falls into the fall category because it has that warmth, it has that depth, it has that durability to it, it has that strength, it has that longevity, and more so than that, it has that security to it. Like I said, with the warm sweater, because of the notes it has in it, like I told you before, your fall fragrance is going to fall in the category of warmth. Yeah, you're going to have some some warmth with a fall fragrance, and this one has the woody, it has the floral, it has the balsamic, it has the mandarin. It has an exceptional amount of um, influence with this particular fragrance, and not only that, it smells a little sophisticated. But I love the aroma overall because it has that musky smell also that makes it smell so a little heavy and endurable. I wouldn't see this wanted to be sustainable. And that's exactly what you get with this here Jimmy Choo Illicit because it has some endurance. And if you were to put on a slight wrap with it, it has the ability to penetrate through there because of the fact it has the sandalwood and the wood and wood notes are always more, much more influential in a fragrance. In other words, they penetrate exceedingly and it leaves an exceptional amount of sillage behind it. This is a beautiful scent overall. And the next one that I have for you happens to be Dolce Gabbana. Dolce Gabbana the one. Don't you believe Anna here? This is lovely. This is a lovely scent as well, but it has the floor aroma to it, but it's a little bit unique. And it's so unique to the point where it's sweeter. It has a somewhat of a sweet aroma to it because it has the vanilla. It has vanilla beans. It has a little bit of hint of musk. It has the wood. It also has white floral so honey and but more so than that you get an exceptional amount of sweetness with this it has a somewhat of a heavy aroma to apply to it but the sweetness that you're encountering with this one it minimizes it exceptionally which makes it much more influential and it's aromatic 
and you do have a sillage with this one as well so you're gonna have an excessive amount of longevity even though even though you have an exceptional amount of sweetness with this fragrance it's a beautiful scent light airy aromatic but beautiful okay and our next one Girland Shalimar and this fragrance is light and it's modernized and it's aromatic and the scent so beautiful very modernized scent as well this fragrance smells clean it has warmth but it's exceptionally clean it has a clean aroma somewhat of a little soapy but it doesn't really have soap in it it has a soapy aroma because it has an exceptional a powdery aroma within it and in this one it has a hint of balsamic aroma it also has the citric and it has the musk and it has a little two rose and aroma and it's fresh and fruity as well but it's a lovely scent very appreciative it's a beautiful fragrance as well exceptionally distinguishing and you will appreciate this one as a fall aroma because it also has a sillage which means it's very influential and has an exceptional amount of longevity as well <laughs> Okay, the next one I have for you, Gucci Bamboo. Gucci Bamboo is a lovely, lovely scent as well for the fall. It's so lovely. It comes to you with yellow flowers. It also has musky, a musky aroma. It also has that woody element within it. Of course, it has power. It has endurance. It's aromatic. It's doesn't have the fruity aroma but it has an exceptional amount like i said woody and it has the floral but it's a beautiful scent it's a beautiful scent overall but the citric in here dominates the fragrance but it also has a hint of sweetness as well but this one right here reminds you of the fall exceptional because it's like when you step outside in the morning how you can smell the trees like you can smell the fall of the year and like the trees and the pine from the trees this has that pine aroma and it's a beautiful scent but it has that woodiness that woody outdoors element within it and it's very lovely you will love it love it love it is distinguished it also has a very 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 light sillage as well highly recommend it okay the next one that we have will be ted baker ted baker i'm hopefully going to bring this one to you but i am because this fragrance right here sits in my collection all the time and it, i just happened to accidentally overlook this fragrance but it has a beautiful scent and it's by ted baker and it's definitely a fall fragrance honey this lovely fragrance and it has a lovely scent and it has a potent scent applied to it you want to know why and how i know because honey it smells like my mom this smells like the fragrances my mom used to wear honey because before in the day back in the day when they designed fragrances honey you got everything original it was authentic weird it was so beautiful to smell her sillage in the room because it had a trail then fragrances stayed with you and you get that with this one honey this has the musky the woody elements within it but not oh, more so than that honey it smells so sweet it has the floral and the sweetness all at the same time but more so than that it smells like it might have a little bit of a cashmere scent applied to it because it has that sweet element to it as if it has a little bit hint of um of course maybe some sandalwood and maybe a hint of white flowers but either way it's just rosy 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 scent aroma with the woody elements of outdoorsiness within this fragrance and it's very sweet but not too sweet it's moderately sweet but it's a beautiful sweet and honey i love this scent i do i was received this one not too many not too many months ago and the name of it happens to be hypnose and it's by lancome this scent and this fragrance right here it's beautiful 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 it's light it's airy but it's very appropriate for the fall you want to know why because of the fact that it has it has a light aroma 
which means in the fall you don't dress too heavy, which means you're still bearing skin, and it has that creamy aroma, a creamy element applied to it. But yet and still, it has the aroma of the fall of the year because it has that twist of sweetness, which gives it that aromatic, sophisticated aroma that has a hint of bitterness, like it gives you that wooded pine element that a fragrance of the fall would generally exuberate and this one does that it's a beautiful aroma and i highly 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 admire it i am so blessed to have this fragrance it's beautiful it's by lancome it has a creamy element scent it has a sweetness of white floral it's just beautiful and it sounds like it might have a little bit of vanilla within it either way it's gorgeous 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 highly recommend it the next fragrance I have for you happens to be Chlorinome. Chlorinome is a beautiful scent as well and highly recommended for the fall of the year. With this fragrance, you get the fruity, floral, gentle, gentle, outdoorsy aroma with this one as well, which has a little bit of woody mechanism. The elements, the way they're, the elements, the way they're distributed in this fragrance make it so unique. It has a citric amount of elements within it it has the woody elements within it it has the aroma of floral flu fruity sweetness you have the sustainability but not more so than that it has the independence of a woman yeah as a woman of independence i highly recommend this woman this is sophisticated fragrance as well uh, this one's definitely appropriate for the fall of the year but more so than that i think it's more so appropriate for an office environment i'm working in an office environment where you went close because it gives you that siege of perfection so i highly recommend chloe no made to you okay the next one i have for you happens to be beer blast and with beer blast you get the woody floral fruity sweetness with this one as well but you know i love me some beer blast I love Bill Blast, honey, but this is not the Bill Blast that I love. This is Bill Blast Amazing. It's a beautiful scent as well. Highly admirable. Highly admirable scent, but not more so than being just a highly admirable scent. It's perfect for the fall of the year. It falls definitely into that perfect classification of a fall scent. And the reason it does is because of the fact that the aroma you whether you have on light clothing or heavier tire or trench coat or a light sweater whatever honey you're gonna leave amazing sillage behind you because this this aroma with this fragrance it exuberates itself i don't care what time of year you wear but i think this is more appropriate for fall because it has a potent scent and it would be nice to apply it gently but regardless of how you apply it, honey, this is very, very, an influential scent. It's very influential fragrance. It's very powerful. It's heavy. It's enduring. <laughs> I don't care how you apply it, honey. You're going to read, it's very complimentary. You're going to receive an exceptional amount of compliment with this fragrance because, like I said, it leaves an amazing sillage behind it. It's an amazing scent. It's very amazing. You get your fruity, your floral. You, you have your fruity, your floor, your woody elements, and you also have, I think, a hint of patchouli within here. More so than that, it's musky. And the musky, which given it its, its, its more dominant scent overall, and I find it lovely. Overall, it's just loveliness. Just like the container, just loveliness all around. Highly recommend this one to you as well. And the next one I have for you happens to be Wanted Girl by Azaro and this contain is lovely it's shaped like a pistol on here but this right here I said it's shaped like a gun but it isn't this is a grenade this is a beautiful fragrance as well for the fall of the year because again it has that potency it has that aromatic aroma but with it you definitely have your woody elements and with it you also have your citric elements and it has like white flowers but it also have an exceptional amount of mandarin maybe some grapefruit but more so than that you can attain a little bit of patchouli in it but it has a lovely aroma 
It's very potent and it's sweet. It smells like it has some vanilla within it as well. But with this one, honey, you get your your fall aspect with this fragrance. It has a fall scent, but it also goes through that transition like from spring to fall. So in other words, it has like a hint of floral arrangements that make it still has a little bit of some those sunny days in the fall of the year. You're going to find this here Wanted Girl to be very appropriate because it has that transition from, from that bright summer scent transitioning into that deep fall aroma. And that's highly unusual and that's what makes it so beautiful. The fact that it gives you that transitioning scent. It's a lovely aroma, but the vanilla in here is very obvious and it also has an alluring sillage as well. In other words, all of these here, all of these lovely fragrances that I have revealed to you today, honey, you are going to find them exceptionally exceptionally admirable for the fall of the year so honey get your fall on with your fall fragrances and enjoy have a nice evening thanks for tuning in remember to subscribe love a fragrance comment and like thank you for tuning in have a wonderful day goodbye